guys, it's Melanie. Uh, today we are going to be doing an Ulta and Sephora haul. I have picked up a few things over the last couple of weeks. Um, I always enjoy a good haul video, so I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys what I snagged. I will link everything down below. There were just some new releases, um, specifically from Sephora, that I was very interested in, and I kind of thought like, oh, I'll just wait to get them, but, um, I just, I just was like, well, YOLO, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy them now. So um, I also have uh, things from Alta to hit, share with you guys as well. So we'll do the Sephora stuff first. As always, I'll link everything down below. So this is my, of course I'm gonna hold up the side with my address. This is the Sephora box. Okay, not a ton of things in here, but uh, somehow Sephora always ends up being like, a minimum of a hundred bucks I feel like um, so let me grab everything out of here and then get this box out of the way because it's kind of big okay so Charlotte Tilbury released some new goodies and um, she has these new line this new line of lipsticks with these refillable um, containers which I thought was kind of neat so this is the Charlotte Tilbury hot lips refillable um, kissing lipstick in the shade JK Magic. Okay, um, I already opened this <laughs> and I actually put it on this morning before I went to go get Stella a haircut. Uh, I, I really like this color so much. Um, I think it's mostly worn off. I'm not gonna put this one on because I'm gonna put on the next one that I'm gonna show you guys. But these, okay, first off, these um, like containers are gorgeous. They're very heavy, and I'm just gonna grab my, like, this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Um, so this is Pillow Talk here, and I feel like these are a little bit heavier. They are also slightly larger, um, but they're really, really pretty. Um, I really like the idea that this was refillable, and this was, I think, my favorite design out of all of the different options that they had. So it's like a moon and some stars and like some shooting stars. It's really pretty. So anyway, let me give you guys a swatch of the lipstick. So JK Magic is a peachy pink and the formula feels really nice. I'm trying to remember if I've had the kissing formula before and if I didn't like it. Because when I first got this in, I was like, oh, I wonder if this is the formula that I don't like. But this actually did really well on my lips when I wore it this morning. Not particularly long wearing, but a lot of lipsticks aren't. Um, the second lipstick that I have for you guys is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk. So I already have Pillow Talk in this formula, which is, I believe, her matte formula. And I love it. I love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So when I saw it was released in a glossier formula, I was like, yeah, I need that. The one thing I will say is this lipstick feels a little bit cheaper. Um, it doesn't feel quite as weighty. These are 37. I want to say these are 34. And I do like this slim design. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Oh, I love that color. Arrgh. I love it. This feels really nice on the lips, you guys. Um, the regular Pillow Talk is definitely a matte formula. I like her matte formula, but I definitely think I like this better. Did I do an okay job? I'm like, I'm so nearsighted, you guys. I could, I can tell where my lips are, but I can't tell if I'm within the lines. I'm thinking that I am, but oh well. Oh well if I'm not. So anyway, this is new as well, and um, I like it. Yeah, I'm trying to just glossy starlit lip looks. Doesn't really say anything else about the formula, just glossy. There you go. So those are new from Charlotte Tilbury. I also finally picked this up from Melt Cosmetics. This is one of their quads, and this is in the shade uh, Gunmetal, or the the quad Gunmetal. Yep, Gunmetal stack. Uh, don't love the packaging of this. <laughs> I 
I would love to be able to depot this and put it in a um, just like a Z palette or something but I've been interested in this for a very long time almost ordered it from their website multiple times but just couldn't bring myself to like bite the bullet um, so anyway there is the first shade and these do all like magnetize so again not ideal so this is the shade um, Hearthstone White there's that this is the shade Assimilate I really think this is going to be a beautiful transition shade this is the shade Industrial which is beautiful and then this is oh, it just fell out oh no what I'm so mad <laughs> okay well oh and it is a disaster oh no oh no oh what a mess okay well balls <sighs> of course I can't pick this up in store it totally fell out of there um are all of these okay so these aren't loose like that just fell out of the pan okay well let's close her up I'm gonna take that back because that is that is gonna turn into a giant mess if I try to repress that I'm not doing it okay well <laughs> so can't really give this any review anytime soon I'm gonna have to get this replaced um, stick that over here all right well there you have it and now I that was the like dark gunmetal shade. It's it's pretty. I mean, it's definitely it's pretty. Anyway, and then um, I used my little code for the new cover, not Cover Girl. Who am I kidding? Uh, the Too Faced um, Damn Girl mascara. So I was like, mm, I don't want to buy it, but if I can get it for free, I do think it's kind of fun packaging. Let's see what the brush looks like. Oh, it's the same. It seems like the exact same brush that they have for the Better Than Sex Mascara. Anyway, I'll try it. All right, let's talk about what I picked up at um, Ulta. Their leader sale is happening in case you're not aware. Um, I love the Ulta leader sale. I really like to buy uh, larger bottles of shampoo and whenever the sale comes around, I usually pick up at least a few things. So I've never tried anything from It's a 10. I know, that's probably crazy. But um, I thought I'd go ahead and try these two conditioners. I go through conditioner a lot faster than shampoo, so I actually didn't pick up any shampoo this go around because I still have plenty. So I picked up the It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Silk Conditioner, this guy right here. And then I also picked up the It's a 10 Miracle Daily Conditioner. So I, I have a cold right now. Thanks, Stella. She brought that home. I feel like this smells good. I couldn't really smell it when I was in the store yesterday. Oh, I don't want to like get that on the side. Um, I feel like it smells good. I can get kind of like a light, fresh scent from it. Have you used these? What are your thoughts on these? I've never used them. They seem to get good reviews. I also picked up this Mario Badescu cleanser. All of the Mario Badescu stuff was five times the points at Ulta, and I love it when they like do like the point multipliers. Um, so this is the enzyme cleansing gel. This is actually a repurchase for me. So this is a good product. If I bought it again, uh, you know, it's a good product because I like to try new things. Uh, this is very gentle. I bought this to be able to use in the shower in the mornings. Um, this has a really light, fresh scent to it. I don't buy it because of the scent. I buy it because it's just a good basic cleanser for the morning time. It doesn't foam. It is more of like a gel consistency but it just gets your skin clean gets all the like maybe leftover skincare off and just kind of preps your skin for the day um it's really good if you've never tried this i do highly recommend it especially for the morning i picked up another cos rx item oh, what is this oh it's a clinique mascara i must have tossed that in there um do i have a hair yeah i do sorry 
I'm a mess today, you guys. I This cold is really throwing me for a loop. And of course we have a graduation party to go to tonight. I'm actually recording this on Saturday. So the Cos RX Snail Mucin 96 Power Essence stuff really has become kind of a go-to product for me. I, I didn't think I was gonna become addicted to it, but I'm really loving that product. So I figured since that product was kind of a winner from the line, I'd try something else. There's, I also wanna get their, um, their propolis uh, serum as well, so that's next on my list. But I picked up their BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Um, I thought I'd compare this to the uh, BHA liquid exfoliant from Paula's Choice that I love, the Resist one. So um, you do apply this with a cotton pad. It's very liquidy. I guess you could use it like an essence as well, but it does say to use a cotton pad to apply this to your skin. Um, the ingredients in here are pretty basic. Um, willow bark water is the very first ingredient. Um, there's also niacinamide in here, arginine, panthenol, um, sodium hyaluronate. So there's there's good stuff in here. I'm really excited to try this. Um, have you guys ever used this? I, I'm kind of liking this brand so far. So I definitely look forward to trying more from COSRX. But anyway, let me know if you've tried this. And that's actually it. So not a ton of stuff, but definitely grab some stuff. I'm really bummed about this melt stack. That really kind of bums me out. I wonder if I should even bother like reordering it. I mean, it was really well packed. Like it wasn't because it was knocked around. I, I literally like, I opened the thing and it just like fell out. It's almost like the, the powder had pulled away from the sides because it landed in one piece. But when I went to go grab it to put it back in, it started breaking apart. It seems like a really soft formula. Actually here, I'm just gonna, I kind of, I haven't even swatched these. Ooh. Okay, that is not performing how I thought it would. That is, um, seems very chunky. So this is the harsh stone white. Um, okay, don't love that. That's very chunky. Let's try this assimilate shape. Maybe I should just buy that on its own. If Whoa. Do you guys see how patchy that is? I've even gone over it. Okay, well, I think I know how I feel about this now. I don't even, I don't even think I'm going to have it replaced. I think I'm just going to take, this feels really chunky. Wow. Yeah, that's a big fat no. No, I love the colors. I love the shades in here, but this is going back. I'm not even gonna have it replaced. And then here is the, the shattered guy. Wow, what a letdown. Anyway, okay, so don't buy this. <laughs> yeah, this is really not a great formula at all, you guys. It's Now my hands are not particularly dry today, but this is just so patchy, like, they're not smooth at all. And I think they're like 48 bucks for a quad. So big fat no on this. Anyway, good to know. Hopefully that saves you guys a few bucks. <laughs> all right, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll link everything down below if you wanna go read up more about these products. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye.